Kia ora, tēnā koutou, hello and welcome to Minecraft 1.2. It's been a long time coming, what with snapshots and things going on. And yeah, anyway, I found this little gem here when I, when I generated the 1.2 world just a couple of minutes away from the spawn. And it gives us a good opportunity to take a look at some of the, uh, the new content of 1.2. So let's go ahead and head over here to this uh, to this strange new trees and what is all of this here? This is the new jungle biome that was added to 1.2. As you can see, it's uh, it's heavily based on vegetation, and plenty of trees and leaves on the ground, and particular in particularly these tall trees here with uh, vines growing on the side of them. They are quite spectacular. They have their own kind of leaves, of course. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look. As you can see, the uh, the texture for wood for jungle trees has been slightly been modified. It's a uh, looks like it's on its side as well, doesn't it? And also as well with the vines that are actually on the side of these, you can actually jump onto them and climb up them like you would normal ladders. And as you can see, the problem that they had with uh, ladders in 1.1, how they uh, didn't have a, t a hitbox. Uh, the way that works now is that that's been added to the vines. If I go ahead and just grab some normal ladders, uh, we will see that due to popular demand, the hitboxes on normal ladders are back. Let's just go ahead and fire this up here. Oh. Yeah, so I'm standing on the top of the ladder here, so the hitboxes are back! Woohoo! <laughs> And also as well with jungles, there's a, there's a new rather rare mob hiding in this jungle somewhere. The Ocelot, which is kind of like a, a jungle leopard. Let's see if we can uh, walk around and see if we can find a, an Ocelot. Now one thing that I just wanted to show off before I head out for the Ocelots is just to sort of show a couple of things first of all is that you'll see that there's grass here what you used to have to do is destroy it then place but now you can place on top of grass no problem which is kind of cool and if we take a look at here this is a dispenser you can see the other texture for the front of the dispenser and well at least the front anyway is a has been modified a bit but that's just a small little minor change and you can take a look here this is just a, a regular sapling i believe it's, uh, it's also had its texture slightly reworked. It's turning night time, so that gives us an opportunity to have a look at some of the new monsters that are prowling the earth. Oh yes, and if you take a look here, you'll see that I'm, I have this strange, curious new block. What is it? It is called Stone Brick. There it is there. This isn't actually accessible in survival mode as of right now. This is a, a creative block so it's going to be implemented at some point in the near future perhaps 1.3 so look out for that all right so it's turning turning dark let's just go ahead and use our new redstone lamp oh yes to light things up so you yeah, the redstone lamp you can just plonk it any old place that you like it goes up no problem just place a torch to it next to it and look at that I haven't actually... let's see if we can find a way to craft it. I imagine it uses glowstone. So let's just see if I can craft it real quick. Where's a workbench? It looks like it would be the sort of weapon to you... weapon? <laughs> looks like it's the sort of thing that would use like glass or maybe glass blocks. You know, let's see if we can craft one. Now let's get some more glass. Now we use glass blocks. Alright. So yeah, I imagine it would use like, I don't know, maybe like eight glass surrounding a piece of glowstone would be my guess. Let's have a look. Hmm. Alright, so if anybody re discovers what the formula for lamps is, uh, please share with us in the comments. Anyway, so yeah, it gives off, I assume it gives off a luminance of 15, otherwise what would be the point? But anyway, yeah, so... Looks like the mobs aren't going to be spawning tonight. So let's just go ahead and uh, 
discover a new feature with 1.2. <laughs> I need some. Now, normally what used to happen in 1.1 is when you, if you put spawner eggs inside these dispensers, the, the eggs would just pop out. There would be no... What's the word? It wouldn't actually spawn the monster. But of course now if we do this, it spawns. It looks like the zombie's head's given a slight retweak. I could be wrong. It looks like the texture is made slightly different. And if we also just aggro him a bit, and if we head around the tree here, you see that the AI for the zombie has actually been improved quite a bit. It uh, You can't get it stuck behind stuff now. You see it's actually going around the side of the trees. It's, uh, it's not going to get stuck. See if I just stand here. See, it came around the side of the tree. That's a that's a new that's a new thing for zombies. Just hope it doesn't happen to creepers. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and quickly finish him off. Three hits with a diamond sword? Are you kidding me? What happened? You know, see, and there's also a new feature where uh, I believe skeletons. I'm not sure about any other mobs, but anyway, skeletons at the very least. When, when it turns daytime, the skeletons will attempt to find cover. Uh, that, that essentially means they'll try to hide under a tree or something to stop themselves burning, or if there's water nearby, they'll jump into the water. Which is also kind of scary. They're evolving! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's, uh, let's actually head back to the village. Let's quickly take a look at what the villagers have been getting up to. The villagers themselves have also had a few of the rather interesting little features added. Oh my, what's that? <laughs> okay, so the first major change, of course, is that villagers, rather than rather than standing outside all night, they will actually retreat inside once it turns night time. And then if there's a zombie around. They'll be constantly beating on the door. Ah! The noise. And if you're actually playing on hard difficulty, what will actually happen is that the, the zombies will actually manage to break down the doors as well, which is kind of, kind of freaky. And in one of the uh, more recent snapshots, the villagers actually have a, a rather interesting new ability that they're able to implement here. They can... If I can just find some iron and pumpkins, I believe. We need four, and then we need a pumpkin. Now what happens if I place this pumpkin down? Well, you know how with snow golems, if you place two blocks of snow and then a pumpkin? Well, what actually happens if you place four pieces... Whoa, no, no. Four pieces of iron, like so, and then a pumpkin on top. You can make a golem. Oh yeah. And they will actually... So yeah, these can be made by 15 villagers, I believe. And basically, yeah, see, they are... They're chasing the monsters away. So it's sort of a little testificate... Testificate defensive mechanism. You can see it fires the uh, the skeleton here, right up into the air. It's kind of cool. So yeah, they take a massive amount of hits with a diamond sword. Let's just go ahead and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, 13. It, it might be more than 13 because it got hit by the Enderman. Okay, so it looks like these, uh, these testificates are, uh, are planning what to do here about the zombie infestation that's coming on. And speaking of zombie infestations, that is actually a feature in 1.2. There is a small chance, a very small chance that zombies will actually actually will come in like a, a ma massive foray of monsters coming forth from 
from everywhere to come and destroy everything around you and create a hell of a noise in certificate villages. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead and wait till morning and then we can take a look at some of them some more of the uh the features that one point two has to offer. Just two items I forgot to talk about uh just before uh interesting little items that are hopefully accessible in the the thing here. Let's see. Magma cream? No, that's not it. It's uh where is it? A bottle of oh enchanting, yes, this is an interesting little one. Uh, if you're playing in, say, like survival, what will actually happen when you give yourself this is that you can give yourself experience, which is very, very handy indeed, and stops all those massive XP farms lagging everybody out. <laughs> and also we should have an item called the Fire Charge. Uh, it doesn't look like it's accessible through here. Again, basically what happens is that uh, you can place a fire charge in a dispenser and it acts very much like a ghast fireball in that it will actually sort of go forward and make the wood catch on fire. And I was kind of hoping to, <laughs> to burn down the, the village here just to demonstrate, but no. Oh well. Alright, I found the fire charge. It turns out it's like right next to the enchanting bottle. Wow. So we're just going to go ahead and put one fire charge in here and we're going to set this village alight. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh boy. So yeah, it, it fires out. Kind of useful in adventure maps, for example, if you want to create some sort of fire puzzle. Oh yeah. The village is on fire. Uh-oh. That was a total accident, Mr. Testificates. I'm so sorry. Who lives there? So probably somebody lives there. And, and a feature I actually completely forgot to... Whoa. <laughs> go over is that... The villagers can now... If there's space in their village, they will actually... Sort of, two of them will get together one night. You know, and be all alone, and then they will have... Awesome moments together, and then a little young testificate will burst forth into the world to inhabit that new house. Well, the house, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can find an ocelot. I just wanted to quickly show this off. This, uh, this, it's a it's like it's, some, it's a ravine, I believe, in the jungle. So, as you can see, the ravines and jungle sort of spawn together. No problem, it'll be kind of nice once all these vines reach the bottom, it'd look very, 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 very jungly indeed. Anyway, continuing the search. Alright, we've found a couple of ocelots at long last. <laughs> and anyway, yeah, so as you can see here, we have a fully grown ocelot, which is now trying to evade capture. But I am in creative, I can do it. I, I believe what you have to... I believe if you hold a fish, a cooked fish, it might be cooked or raw, you can try it either way. They will actually come towards you. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it comes. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get this ocelot. And what you have to do is you have to slowly move over them. Oh, look at that. It's a little pet kitty. It's a little pet kitty cat in Minecraft, everybody. Isn't that awesome? All the cat fans finally have something to gloss over now that they don't have nothing to combat wolves. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I kind of wish I could have gotten the, uh, the little one. But anyway, and there's a big ocelot in there. Let's see if we can get two little kitties. Hello? Mr. Ocelot? Okay, looks like he's gone, but anyway, yeah. Cats! So Ocelots turn into cats rather randomly, it's a little weird. Okay, so basically good luck in finding a cat in your jungle today! <laughs> 
Okay, we're back in the outskirts of the village. I just quickly wanted to show off the fact that now, rather interestingly, always before it's been that if we place a block, a stair block down like this, and a slab down, they will always be on the bottom, and people have probably been requesting for quite a long time to finally be able to have a slab there. Well, now it can be finally be possible. All we have to do is get, get under here like this, and go boom! Oh my goodness! The slab <laughs> is it's 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 up. It's 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 fantastic. The, the, the same applies to stairs here. You can see they still do that, but if we come here like so, I, I, I was kind of expecting to drop down. There we go. Upside down stair blocks. It's kind of nice for windows as well, you can see here. Now what we do if we do this... And then we need to do that. And then we need to come here, and what is that sound? That is driving me mad. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Test Certificates. Can you please keep it down? Thank you. Same... oh dear. <laughs> No! I, no! I heard the cat! No! No! I'm sorry! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Oh. Alright, so yeah, anyway, upside down stairs. Oh, yeah, you're back! Okay, stay right there. Anyway, so upside down stairs. Okay, I found a, a, a source of lava, and if you can hear through the lag, now oh, you can actually hear a very deep rumbling, a sort of a low deep rumbling coming from the lava itself. And also the uh, unfortunately laggy popping noises bursting forth from the lava as well. That's all, it's all new in 1.2. And I'm sorry for all the uh, lagginess. It doesn't seem like it to be laggy anymore, so let's just quickly hear. very awesome indeed. And also if we take a look in F3, you may notice as I'm turning my head here, we can actually see the side of my head for a change, uh, rather than just having our face constantly sort of following the camera, it sort of delays a bit so we can see the side of my head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See so yeah, a very, very nice little feature if you're interested in playing it permanently at F5 for some reason. But yeah. Let's see what happens if we go forward. Now, now that looks a little weird. Anyway. Side facing head in F... in third person mode. <laughs> now finally one other feature that I haven't been able to show you in this video. Well actually a couple of features is that some some of the monsters they have super rare drops that they can drop now. I'm not quite sure what the items are as as before. Please feel free to let let us know what they are in the comments. And also as well, there are some very rare desert wells that can now be found in desert biomes. I'm not quite sure what these wells contain. I've never found any yet, so yeah, just the same as before. Please feel free to let us all know. And that concludes. The new look at 1.2. My Minecraft 1.2 jungles, villages, lava, stairs, cats, dispensers, <laughs> and a whole lot more. Thank you very much for watching. Kakatea.